Having made her debut in Borderlands 3, Ava's backstory is one that comes from isolation and abandonment issues. While we don't know where she was born or how old she was during this time, Ava's parents seem to have been killed when she was very young. She kept a diary of her life after their deaths, revealed to us in the mission Invasion of Privacy, but considering Private Beans has a tendency to read all of her entries in a sarcastic voice, I will instead be doing a dramatic rereading of them for you as if they were in echologue form. Running scared, day one. I think my whole family's dead and I don't know what to do. It would seem that some event or something happened to her family where she was the only survivor and was forced to figure out how to live her life not on the run, as she wasn't being hunted, but rather just alone and as a wanderer. Day 3. I miss my family so much. Sometimes it feels like my heart is a fist clenched around a piece of barbed wire and it hurts so much to hold on to the wire because then I don't have it anymore. The emotional pain she is going through essentially wound up being torture for her. It is likely due to this reason that she began suppressing her more emotional side with a more rough outer shell. Day 11. Found an alley to live in. Warm enough to survive the nights because there's a pressure release valve for the sewer that opens every 20 minutes. Just over a week and we start to see the living conditions she's forced to live in. Relying on heat from a sewer system is hardly the environment for a young child to grow up in. Day 443. Captain said I could join the crew. I jumped ship at the next port, took his vac suit, sold it for food money. We then jump significantly forward in time. While the year cycle in Borderlands varies from planet to planet, I think it's safe to say these days still follow Earth's time frame, meaning she's been on her own for over a year by now. And you can see just how much trouble she's having attaching herself to people. By all means, it seems the captain she speaks of is a nice, well-intending person seeking to help her find a place. But due to what she had and once lost, she doesn't want to go through that again. If she gets emotionally attached to the captain and crew and then she loses them, it'll be like her parents all over again. And so instead of allowing herself to be victim to those emotions, she steals his vac suit and runs. Day 939. Why did I come to this dumbass monastery? All the stupid monks stink like Gouda, and I haven't seen any cheese since I got here. There's one chick with blue hair I keep seeing around the market. She's got a crazy cool Maliwan gun. Maybe I can steal something from her and use it to trade for the gun. By now she's been on her own for just under three years. As she's wandered from world to world, she eventually made her way to Athenus. As she wrote in her diary, her plan was to steal Maya's book from her with the intention of selling it or bargaining for her gun. That didn't go well, however, as Maya caught Ava in the act. But whether it was because of her siren powers or a decision she chose to make, instead of killing her right then and there, she decided to take her up as her apprentice training her in the methods of becoming a siren. Might want to check your pockets. She was a stowaway on one of our seasonal merchant ships. We crossed paths. She tried to steal my book, and instead of throwing her off a cliff, I decided to train her as my apprentice. While the idea initially intrigued Ava, she very quickly became bored of Maya's teachings, meditation, book work, and so on, when in reality she wanted adventure similar to Maya. All I ever do is protect archives or storerooms or sacred whatevers. I'll see you later, Vault Hunter. And this is where the events of Borderlands 3 take place. By now, Ava had been Maya's apprentice for some time. When one of the monks at the monastery sold information to Maliwan that they were in possession of part of a vault key, the planet came under attack. Lilith and the Crimson Raiders sent the Vault Hunters down to assist them where they met Ava. Seeing all this action and witnessing the main characters in action really pushed her to want to be just like one of them. Maya and Ava would both then join the Crimson Raiders aboard Sanctuary 3 to try and help stop the Calypsos. The next time Ava plays a role in the story is when the Vault Hunters successfully collect the Vault Key for Promethea and go there to kill its Vault Monster before Tyreen can leech it. While they do open the Vault and almost kill the Rampager inside, Ava had actually tagged along to witness everything firsthand. While her and Maya would argue over situations like these, Tyreen and Troy then phase walk to their location, and this is where Maya would unfortunately meet her end. 
Ava from here on begins taking her frustrations out on Lilith and the other Crimson Raiders. Open the vaults? That's all you have to say. Maya's dead because you wanted to open the vaults. We should be hunting down the Calypsos and making them pay for what they did. It's not that easy. Maya always told me a vault hunter runs toward the fire. All her stories were about you. You saved Pandora. You killed Handsome Jack. You're supposed to be the Firehawk. I, I don't know what I am. Figure it out, Lilith, before you get someone else killed. I personally believe that, as we saw with her attachment issues, Maya was the first person Ava actually attached herself to since her parents' death. And because Maya was killed, similar to her family, she can't help but let the emotions overtake her, only instead of grief, this time it's anger. And I think the reason she takes it out on Lilith the hardest is because unlike when she was alone, she believes this time they're actually capable of doing something about it. That with all these fighters, they can just go straight to the Calypsos and kill them. Something she wasn't capable of doing alone and as a child. From here on, the rest of Borderlands 3 would play out. After Troy's death, Ava officially inherited Maya's siren ability, the Phase Grasp. Though she doesn't ever really get a chance to use that power. Then, at the end of the game, Lilith says that Sanctuary's hers, while Lilith goes off to stop Elpis from destroying the planet. But for now, that's the history of Ava. If you ask me, the weirdest decision was Lilith saying that Sanctuaries was hers. But aside from that, I think her story of loneliness, attachment issues, and such was a fine one. If there are any other characters you'd like to see me do the history of, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.